Hey everyone, I'm Erica. I'm the president and CEO of Emerald Stone Photography. So today I created a video just to show you while you're stuck at home during this COVID-19 pandemic, you can still create really pretty and great pictures just using your cell phone with a great room that has good window light. And of course, while I would always recommend hiring a professional photographer to capture your special moments in life, just so you can be fully present and have great quality images to last a lifetime. Sometimes like right now where it's just impossible to do that, I would rather for you to have something rather than nothing. So my goal today is just to give you a few tips that I would normally use when I'm taking pictures, whether it's my cell phone or my professional camera, by using just natural window light, whether you're trying to get some maternity shots before you have a baby coming in a few weeks, pictures of your kids, yourself as a family, just kind of cozied up in the bed. Maybe your child has a birthday coming up. So just some ideas on how to really make those pictures pop. All you're gonna need for this photo shoot is one room that you really like with a nice piece of furniture. So a bed that's big enough to kind of fit you as a family or a couch. And then it has to have window light too. So some nice light coming in. And then of course, something to take the picture. So either your cell phone or a camera. And that is it. So my daughter and I put together a little video for you just to show you how we use one room, a cell phone, a good window light to get some really great pictures. If you stick around to the end, I'm actually gonna pull up a big series of professional photos from my company, Emerald Stone, that we took for maternity, couples, and family that'll really be able to show you the shots we got and I'll be able to go through them and tell you how we posed and things like that to give you a really great idea. This is a bedroom we're gonna be using for the pictures. Mommy's bedroom, hi. So here's our special guest, Kaylee. This is my daughter. You wanna say hi? A quick tip about setting up your room, whether it's a bedroom or your living room with a couch that you like, is to completely declutter. Keep it simple. If you have a bed, you'll see we have one plain white cover we're going to use. You can use a neutral blanket, something like that to cozy up with. Just keep it super simple. And then you're gonna wanna turn off all of the artificial lighting. So if you have an overhead light, or a lamp, you wanna turn all of that off and we are just going to be using the window light. So you're looking at the camera right now and we can see her pretty good, but what happens if we move over this way? I get shined on by the light coming from the windows. That's right. So we're gonna be showing you how to use natural window light. So look here at the camera. Okay, now follow me this way. And smile again. All right, so you see you never want to be backlit. So when you have light behind you, Kaylee's super dark. So that's what we want to do. We want to pick a bedroom that has nice natural window light, even if it's only one window. All right, let's get to work. So see how it even lights her up? You can see from here, tuck your hair behind your ear. Her face is beautifully lit up. Now again, if she follows me back this way and I'm trying to take a picture in the windows behind, she's not very lit up, is she? So that's kind of a rule of thumb to always look towards the window. Another thing to point out is that it's cloudy outside right now. So you wanna either have overcast or well, you don't want the bright, harsh sun pointing in the window because then there'll be a lot of shadows and squinting. So as long as you have either a cloudy day or the sun's on the other side, you'll be good to go. So right now we have a sitting statue. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna talk about posing just a little bit. And the most important thing is Kind of keep the motions going always be doing something with your hands um, so a little bit of direction that you can do is kind of like Kaylee sit up nice and tall sit up nice and tall 
All right, perfect, good. Cross your ankles, cross your legs. Look at me. Do a little hand tuck, like behind your ear. Good, now tuck real slow, but kind of like look down and smile. Look over your shoulder, over your left shoulder, other one. Good, now while you're looking over your left shoulder, take your right hand and tuck behind your ear and look down and smile. See, how pretty is that? So just those simple different strategies on how to like move your hands if you have a bracelet on you can fidget with your bracelet if you have a necklace on you can fidget with that you can cross your legs one way then cross them another so you're like the perfect little model so we need to do something with your hands so maybe put one like up above your head yeah that's perfect maybe look out the window a little bit put your hands back under your head awesome and then you can kind of flow your hair down a little bit wait what happened to your hands <laughs> see unposed posed Hello. <laughs> all right so and here we're going to talk about just adding some elements in that make sense so Kaylee likes to read, so she's got her books. Um, if you're trying to get pictures of your kids, you might want to do um, books, toys, things like that. You're trying to get something, you know, of yourself. Maybe do um, a journal, a laptop, a coffee mug, um, just anything that really makes sense that you're not going to mind having in your picture, but that can really make something like pop. Okay, so that is it. I hope you guys were able to enjoy that little tutorial uh, with myself and my daughter, just kind of showing you how it is possible to get some really pretty pictures at home. Look around your room, see what you have available to you that you can just kind of prop your cell phone up on. You can stack it up on books, um, things like that, just to achieve to the background that you want, whether you want more background in or less. So just have fun with it play around. Remember, if, especially if you're getting shots of your kids or candid photography, you can do tickles. You can just like be silly and have fun. And that's ultimately what creates those genuine smiles and emotions that you're going to love. All right. So I'm getting ready to show you the pictures that we got again, just by putting that camera on selfie mode and including yourself in the pictures and then getting some headshots too, which are really fun. And then I guess my son heard the fun too, walked up the stairs and got in some pictures with us. And actually it worked out perfectly because he loves books too. So just incorporating all of that, going with the flow for your session. Remember, we're just kind of keeping it fun and just capturing those fun moments at home. So I hope you guys enjoy. bonus material for you that I wanted to put together from just a few sessions to show you the end result and then I want to let you know how we achieve that. All right, so we're going to start with maternity and for this shot, it's super simple. It does involve both the mom and the dad. So you'll just put your phone on that selfie mode and you'll set the timer and then you can just recreate the hand movements here. And then this one, it's just the mom. So again, hand on belly and then you can kind of move it around to really what feels most comfortable for you and then um, the dad can take this one since it's only one so we don't need that selfie mode and timer on your phone and then I would just give a lot of direction for this so again look down at your belly look over your shoulder and smile um, just you can move your hands to where it feels most comfortable for you so here again is another image that you could recreate and the same thing so again you're in that same spot. And then dad, you can tell mom, just kind of hold still. And then you can do a 360 around her and just kind of capture a lot of different like variety of close-ups, wide shots with standing in the same exact spot. So again, just really using that one spot to get a really good variety um, is always what I like to say. And again, here, still holding the belly the same, but now you're kind of looking behind your shoulder. So she had a vest on here so you could layer. Like for my pictures that you saw, I had um, layering on with like a black card again, and then now I only have my undershirt on. So 
for here, she had the vest on, but then she took it off, did one different hand motion, and then it looks like she has a whole different shirt on. So just getting that good variety. Here's an example of adding in elements that are just meaningful to you as a couple. Baseball is really meaningful for them, so it's really cool to walk out to the field and be able to capture this for them too. And then again, all she's doing is sitting down, hand on belly, looking over shoulder. So it's using all of those same techniques um, that I use for a lot of different photos, but yet you're getting something totally unique and special just for you hand under the belly. So I always say start up top and swoop under, especially if you're wearing a dress and that'll really define your baby belly there. Hand on shoulder, you can look at me, you can look down, super simple. For this, I did backlight, so I'm going against the rules, but if you want, so remember how I took the camera around and Kaylee was very dark? You can turn that into an awesome black and white, but it will be a silhouette. If you wanna light your subject up, do not backlight, but this is definitely an exception to the rule here. And then we went inside the nursery, super simple. She's swooping her hand under her belly. The window light is coming right towards her face. So it's just giving that flawless look. This here was a newborn family session. And like you saw on our bed, I love using bedrooms because it's just really like a cozy feel and you can all cuddle up together. And then they had a really great window light. So just looking into that window light and like I say, give tickles, just make it really fun and genuine. And you just really, you get some awesome smiles and emotions too. Um, and this too going right over top. So if you're laying down the bed or you can lay a blanket on your floor and kind of go over top that way if you can't get enough above your kids um, to take a picture, lay a nice soft blanket down on the carpet and you can get a nice picture this way too. And just a different angle and perspective is really cool. Um, this is always fun too, kind of laying on your bellies, having your child in front of you. Again, just if you're facing that window light, you're gonna be good to go. This I love, I actually had a picture like this done for a newborn session for my little boy, um, kind of peeking through the door. So you're in the nursery, in the rocking chair, shut that door a little bit and it'll just kind of blur it out enough to where it focuses on you. Just having that special moment with your little one. Another shot from above, super sweet. I just, I love shots like this. And we did lay down on the floor for this one, soft blanket on top of the carpet. So you have a nice white background and stand over above and just take the shot. Moving on to couples, I just wanted to show you some shots like this because everyone always asks, how do you get these genuine laughs and smiles? I'm always just so shy in front of the camera. And I'll tell you, like all I do for this I say cozy up get comfortable and then I told him to whisper something funny in her ear I said I won't know what you said and this is a shot that we got so the thing is don't put your camera down don't put your cell phone down keep clicking and it could get funnier and funnier to where you're just getting these smiles and laughter and just all this genuine emotion and this was just a walk down the street where they live with their dog their dog ended up jumping in the air and again just don't put that camera down you might fill up your camera or your cell phone but to get shots like this where the dog was just jumping up in the air like it's just key to keep snapping and then just kind of squat down give them love Love, like give them hugs and kisses so that's really I just tell them you know like this is your puppy or this is your baby just give them love you know kiss on them tickle them things like that and that's just really how you get these genuine emotions moving on to some portraits put your hand up on your shoulder she's kind of showing off her ring this is an engagement session and then I said look over at your fiance and smile and then you can look down fidget with your bracelet again just look down okay now look up at me so you're in that same spot, but I'm getting a little pulled back, looking off, looking down and looking at me. So three different shots within, you know, a matter of 30 seconds. Um, same thing, she's walking this time, but still kind of fidgeting with her bracelet, looking over to her side. So you always wanna be doing something with your hands and incorporating those motions too. And then this was another engagement session and I wanted to show you this shot and pose because this is kind of how we start. Like cozy up, just look at the camera and I always tell the guys, hands in pocket, thumb out. So that, so they're not just like flat up against or their whole hands in, you're not showing any fingers. Hands in pocket, thumb out is like my rule of thumb for the guys that I photograph and that we do on our team. And then her hand was right up, you, you can do on the chest, 
you know, anywhere kind of in the stomach area is good. And then from there, after we got that shot, his hand still in his pocket, thumb out, but now she's tucking her hair behind her ear and looking down like we've gone over. And then she's still tucking, but I said, okay, now give her a kiss right on the side of her head. So you got these three awesome shots by doing just basically one pose to start with and then just a little direction is all it takes. And then again, some portraits, putting her weight on one hip and then again, hand over shoulder, the tuck, but you're getting all these different images out of just a little bit of direction again. Hands down, look over your shoulder, putting your weight on one hip. Um, so that's really how we are able to achieve those shots. So um, again, if you are you know, newly engaged, I would definitely suggest waiting to get your professional engagement photos and everything like that. But while it's new and fresh, you know, you if you want to be able to just get some fun pictures of you two together by using that selfie mode on your cell phone, you know, just go for it. And if nothing else, this will be definitely some ideas that you might have in the back of your head too, um, for when it is time for you to get those professional photos and we can get out there and start photographing again. And then this last session is something I wanted to show you um, that we did. It was about a year ago for my birthday. The kids got me some cupcakes for my birthday and we were in the room that you saw Kaylee and I in and we sat on the bed and we just used that good window light. She brought a cupcake in for me. So it was a birthday celebration. So if you're having, you know, your kid's birthday or yours, anyone's birthday that you're able to celebrate and get pictures at in your home, you can just do something so simple like this and then tell some jokes, give some tickles, like rock them back and forth and make them laugh. Um, so again, just different angles, close ups, far away. I told her, I was like, you can smash it on my nose. So really, I can do that. So just making it fun. And again, just having fun with it. So it's super stress free, cuddled up with her stuffed animal here, and then just a nice cozy shot. All right, so that is it. I hope you guys thoroughly enjoyed this video and are able to really use some of those techniques to get some great images at home. And we do have editing available if you take a variety of pictures that you really would just love to send to us too and have professionally edited just to get some really nice contrasty black and white images, which can be really cool. And just to use our expertise on that editing as well. Um, so I will place my email below if that's something you're interested in and again feel free to share your sessions with us and just let us know how it went um some things that you guys did to really make your pictures awesome and memorable too and if you really like this video and this is something that you want me to continue with on certain subjects just definitely let me know stay healthy stay safe and i'll see you soon